Now we move to Ruwen. We move to Ruwen. Uh, Your Excellency, the first Vice President of the Republic of South Sudan, Victoria Mushateng, Vice President, uh, His Excellent Vice President, Hussein Abdel Bage, uh, Presidential advisors, ministers, international label, uh, head of the commission, independent commission in the national level, honorable uh, governors of the state, uh, honorable uh, chief administrators of the administrative area, uh, UR representative, the diplomatic uh, our media house, the organized committee, uh, the security organ. Uh, good morning. Uh, Your Excellency, by first by president, allow me to extend my thank. Uh, one, I thank God for being in this place, have the first time for the ruling to chair the national uh, forum like this. That is the one. Uh, other thing goes to the top leadership of the SPLM in the country for establishing the ruling to be at one of the constituted administrative in the Republic of South Sudan. Uh, the third is uh, I need also to give thanks to our fellow liberators who have been contributed in the liberating of this country, particular the son and daughters of ruling administrative area. For your contribution, that is why we have been recognized by the SPLM leadership to be having the administrative area. Uh, I have to go uh, the area profile in short. Uh, Ruwen Secretariat. I need you to follow me here. Okay. Uh, the profile of Ruwen administrative area has some of us have been denying here, but we have to put it correct correctly today that Ruwen administrative area has the borders with the Nuba Mountain, Abia administrative area, Waraf, Bantu in the south, Jongale in the south of the Nile, and County uh, of Tunja in the east. Brief uh, description of ruling administrative area. Your political background, ruling administrative area came into existence for a Senate to the Republican degree uh, order number 07-2020, which established, established it of three administrative areas of ruling ABA and people. This brought the number of the constituent units in the Republic of South Sudan to 13 ruling has historically been different administrative unit in its own. During the colonial ruling was at most in the different province in the Sudan in 1905 up to 1913 was annexed to north to south or to Nuba Mountain province. In 1913 to 1927, it was annexed also to Kurtupan province. In 1927 to 1928, was annexed to Bahar Ghazal province. In 1928 to 1931, Pangak district, 
in 1930 to 2015 was in Bantu or Unity State. But this subsequent 21st DPA problem played a huge role in the term of how rural people were treated in a province or district they were at most. Based on how rural people were treated in Unity State, resulting in, in irreconcilable differences between the rural people and the rest of the Unity State. The creation of different administrative units has long been a demand of the people of Ruwen. As well, the establishment of Ruwen administrative area was also a part of the recognition of the special contributions the people of Ruwen made during the liberation struggle for independence. Geographical location borders. Geographically, rural administrative area is suited to in the panels of the Republic of South Sudan and has borders with a seven state of which five are in the Republic of South Sudan and two are in the Republic of Sudan. In the Republic of South Sudan, rural administrative area is bordered with unity and jungle state in the south, Warab state in the southwest, Abia in the west, and Apanal state in the east. In relation to the Republic of Sudan, Ruwen administrative area is bordered to a northeast by southern Kurtupan state and southwest by western Kurtupan state. There were originally two counties in constituting Ruwen administrative area, but Ruwen administrative area is currently divided into eight counties, namely Abiyamnam, Ali, Awarpin, Jamjang, Jao, Legno, Tuaj, and Unkur. The National Bureau of Statistics project projected population 2014 puts the Population of Ruwen had over 200,046 people. Ruwen is also hosted to a total of 123 refugees, three camps, namely Yida, Ajwangdo, and Pamir, mainly from the Sudan. 123,000 and Ethiopian 204, which are uh, the part of the refugees in the area. Ruwen has also been hosting a number IDP since 2013, but the recent flood in Unity and Jongle states has met the number of IDPs raised to 2.9978 families, both in Biamnam and Farian mainly from Unity State, and the number of IDPs from Jongle State is yet to be known, but they are in Unkur County. The resources of rural administrative area, relatively education population, very large arable land for agriculture, oil production or producing area, more than 80 of GPOC, production is from ruin. Goal, Unkur and Papuem, Poros, Maram or Grabbles. Uh, vegetable production that should be shown, uh, seen through the photos later through projector. Wildlife, water, river, Bahar Ghazal, Legno and Jao and Ribadir, port facilities, Regno, and one downwell, Manga. Vision, promoting peaceful coexistence between the people of Ruwen administrative area 
and eat the new birth. So Sudanese nationalities and all people living in rural administrative area. Posting a spirit of a life, a life through agriculture and other farms, forms of productive activities. Promotion a peaceful and green environment. Promoting security, rule of law, and respect for human rights. Creating a conducive environment for education for all children, especially for the girl education. Mission. I aspires for a peaceful and prosperous society to achieve stability and economic self reliance, to provide a safe and healthy environment by use of proper technology in oil production. Core value, to promote a diversity through the appreciation of different cultures and value systems. To observe, promote, and protect the human rights. To promote a democracy, rule of law, and good governance through political participation of all residents of ruling administrative area. Security among the people of ruling administrative area it neighbors. Uh, our security is caused by our neighbors. Because our neighbors in unity said are the ones that are deserving us and the nomadic Arab in the north, which are coming during the dry season. And it will happen before yesterday that the cattle, uh, cattle raiders came from unity state and they took more than 1,000 head of cattle and were recovery yesterday afternoon. And that is period we need to assure my colleague, the deputy governor, to talk with the people, the insecurity which is caused by, to the ruin, it caused by the people of unity, of unity state. And we have a spirit of our brothers. I mean, if now you go to un, to area, uh, ruin administrative area, you may pound the new residents are there. But when you go deeply in the village, in the unity state, you will not get the dinga. And he is sincerely speaking. And we need to have that one if we want to have the discount peacefully. Because all of us, we have right to be in South Sudan. It is not the first time for I and the rest of the people who are here have been here in South Sudan. We have been there since. With the same population, with the same cultures, with this, all these things. And nobody was even attempt to grabbing the land of somebody or taking the somebody property. Why not us today? the intellectual people, why we don't convene our people to believe the peaceful, the, the, the peaceful coexistence? Why? <clears throat> Hell is scared. To ensure that every man, woman, and child has access to basic medical services. Education to ensure that every child irrespective of gender has access, access to at least a basic education, agriculture, promoting agricultural production to ensure a food security and self reliance. Uh, key priorities, road to open rural administrative area to all its neighbors for trade, investment, and ease of mobility. Electricity. To ensure that all the residents of rural administrative area have access to electricity, communication, provide the internet, provide the internet connection and telephonic communication, utility of oil resources, ensure that all the resources are put to good use for the welfare of the people of rural. The achievement, security improvement, retaining and resettlement of the people who were displayed during the conflicts, building of guest house and finish, started the construction of the road 
improve the relationship between the ruling administrative government, local communities, and neighbors. Improve the agricultural production, free movement of goods and people between ruling, uh, people of ruling administrative area and Sudan. Improve the health care services. Support the blood affected people in neighboring states. Uh, that is a photo. He, one ship visit Legno during the flood rain season. He used to move from Parian to Legno using footing. Uh, this also is the, when we visit a flood IDPs from UT State. You will show the pictures later. Uh, rural administrative area supply more than 300 beds to UT IDPs victims. We come to the challenges. Despite the improvement, security remains a key challenge, especially a cattle raiding. Plus, the recent raid in water level has led to a plot leading to a displacement of people, especially had a southern part of ruling administrative area. It has also reduced a crop yields in some part of ruling. Occupation of some part of the ruling unku by the opposition forces and the allies. And I want also to talk about this uh, concern about the unku. And I think those of Jamaica and those of citizen that are here, and you got this unku had been occupied by the opposition forces since 2013. And now they are there, and we are talking about the peace. An honorable minister of defense raised that issue. All of us, even if we are in, we are in the one party, in the area, also we need peace. Peace doesn't mean that when you are multi-party in the government, it means you are bringing the peace. The ruling now has doing the same uh, policy which is applied by South Sudanese in their government. So now I have to ask those of Jamek and citizens, Unku is still occupied by the unknown forces, which we don't know now. In the previous time, they called themselves the IO forces. And now they are which forces now? They are which forces. Also, we have the existence of Kidwang group. We were the part of IO, and they don't want to be integrated in the containment area. And Ruwen is not the one of the containment area. And those groups, I hope uh, our Minister of uh, Presidential Affairs have to include that one when he was explaining. Because he's a part, he's a part of the, the presidential uh, inter, 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 initiative piece. They met with the uh, advisor for uh, uh, advisor for security affairs in Khartoum. So this is a, a concern, and we used to report to the German and those of citizens to see these people. Where are they from? Even now, the commissioner of Unku is living in Parian. He's not going to that place because he has been forbidden by them. And I thank the honorable, uh, honorable uh, governor of Jongale State. He recognized the existence of Ruwe. And we have a work to do together. We want those people to be clear to you and to us too. Are they from your side or are they from the other side of the rebel? So that we have to take the position. Now they come without permission. And we need to protect them also. Because when somebody comes in your area, you need to take care of his or her security. So it is good that your, your team has taken initiative to us and the, the elders of Panga because they know these are our, what our neighbors sin. The God created the world. And they know their right and we know their right. Lack of the resources to provide the 
basic necessity such as education, health care, security, and food, among others. Encroachment of ruling administrative area territory by the Sudanese armed forces in the oil and gold rich areas in the northern and the eastern part of ruling. And also, it was like the, the case that had been represented yesterday by Honorable Louis Lobong about the encroachment of the, word, the border. We are facing the same problem. We have a long border with the north, which had been constituted uh, according with the two states in the northern Sudan or in the Sudan, but they used to push ahead every time. And during the CPA, our forces, our BPLA, were in Karsana. But come to 2008, the decision was taken by the leadership of the country and they were withdrawn back to the very area where they are today. The same thing, those people are not stopping, they are still coming ahead. And it's good that Honorable Michael McCoy is here and he's the one that is responsible for that. And also they put the area of Italy to be a claim area. It's supposed to be a dispute area. It's supposed to be a dispute area. And we also need you also, when you are forming the bordering committee, you're supposed to involve the native of that area so that they, you have to get more information. Because when people are selected here in the area, for instance, if I selected to take uh, uh, the border of uh, Eastern Equatoria, and I will not consult the native of that area, how can I equip myself? I have to contact the people so that they will know, they will show me, because the areas had been bordering according to the tribal base during the colonial time. And we read the history of all of us. It is absolutely the fit to show this is their place and this is not their place. Uh, destruction of wildlife by the Arab nomads or uh, patrolists from the Sudan. They come also and they kill our wild animals, like elephants and the rest of the wildlife. Cattle diseases. This has been made worse by the blood as well as the interactions of unhealthy mysterious cattle. Lack of mobility to ensure the adequate security, lack of adequate drinking water across the rural administrative area, lack of access to various villages due to the lack of roads, uh, lack of well-trained law enforcement agents to maintain law and order in the area. Educational challenges. Ruweng continues to pay the serious challenges because there are no support to the teachers. Mass crop invested by pillars has also reduced the crop. Promoting a public, a public financial management and reform strategy promotes a peace through the sport activities dialogue within and between the state administrative area. Way forward. Deployment of well-trained security forces and provision of logistical capacity to deal with security challenges both within and outside the ruling administrative area. Data cooperation with the neighbors, adequate communication system to easier communication, establishing a strong judicial system to handle legal matters, including cattle raiders. And by the way, this cattle raiders is the one of the most causing security in our area, and now we have eight members of the cattle raiders, which have been cut in 2008, and they added the cassette of ruling administrative area. And we start to negotiate with our counterpart in Bantu, or in Unity, to interfere. Because not only that one, they think he rotate itself, and even now we have some other uh, people who have been involved, 
and they know the people who took the kettles and they don't bring them to the place or to the, the court. And they're supposed to do that. So that relationship must build in that way. So those people now, we are trying to discuss in the level of the government. We put the case, instead of being putting the what, uh, they, they, we, we are communicating each other to solve that problem between two governments. And those people are in safe. Provision of adequate health and educational facilities. Uh, Your Excellency, First by President, allow me to give some recommendation because I will not get time again and I give two or three minutes. One minute. Okay, thank you. Uh, for that one minute, I have to squeeze my uh, speech. One, I thank the BA administrative area because the part which are helping our side of Vietnam, uh, uh, and they always they be with them. That is a very great thing. And also, uh, we thank our northern part. Also, we have some, which is not an official relationship, but also we do listen our, ourselves. Uh, the only thing I want to say is, we need to recognize, uh, to recognize ourselves uh, I was really sorry when the, my counterpart uh, represent here and he did not mention about the existence of the IDPs in ruling administrative area. And you will know it through that an hour. It's a fact. And also, we, I, I, let the I, I lead the team also to visit the people in Bantu to see the situation and was not mentioned. It means the same thing that now the people are coming using their own relation but the government up to now they did not declare the official uh, information that we have to receive their people and we are the neighbor we are brothers we have also been the what is called a family relation most of those of Bantu also they are our brothers and we also we are their brothers but they, they don't put our they don't see us as the, what, the brothers. So thank you very much. I will stop here. Greet you all. Are you the chief administrator? Um, Michael Jao Minyel, the deputy chief administrative of ruling administrative area. I represent the chief because the chief is there preparing the place for the IDPs. He remained there to prepare the, the place of the IDPs which are coming from Bantu, and the rest are now in Abiyamnam. So thank you. Thank you.